Whenever we talk about parallel versus perpendicular lines, you know, there's one way to visually kind of understand immediately the difference. So when you look graphically at two lines that are perpendicular, excuse me, parallel, they like this, right? They go on in the same exact slope, the same direction forever, and they never cross. And the word I just gave you was kind of a hint is that they have the exact same slope. And perpendicular lines, if you remember, are lines like this. They do cross. In fact, they cross at exactly at 90. So they're kind of known as like a corner, right? This is a perfect right angle. So parallel lines and perpendicular lines. If I drew 20 pictures and said, which is it, parallel or perpendicular, you could quickly look and know, hey, these are parallel, perpendicular, it's totally easy. And actually, algebraically, it's the same thing. When you look at two lines that are represented as sort of y equals mx plus b, or algebraically, you can, you can kind of pull out one key piece of information, piece of evidence, and know exactly if they're parallel or perpendicular. So here's an example. You know, maybe you'll be given these two equations and they'll say, these are two lines. Are they parallel or perpendicular or actually are they neither? And you'll remember that y equals mx plus b is sort of your traditional, sort of your generic uh, equation of a line. And all that really matters in this whole equation is this. m represents the slope, right? And so if two lines are parallel, remember they have exactly the same slope. So you should be able to look on here and say, what are their m values? And if they're the same, then you would think that these are exactly parallel. And there's also an algebraic uh, relationship between perpendicular lines. Remember, they cross at a 90. If parallel line slopes are the same, perpendicular line slopes are negative reciprocals, right? It's reciprocals, reciprocals. Um, but I call them negative reciprocals because basically you're going to flip the slope and change the sign. So let's look at this. So in this given one here, they say these are two lines, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b. What is his m? If we look at his m, it's definitely two-thirds. His slope, his m is two-thirds. What's his m? What's his slope? Two-thirds. Because these slopes are the same, we have this situation, so we know that in fact these two lines are parallel. And we didn't have to graph them, we didn't have to draw them, all we had to do is look at the equation of a line, look at the slope, hey, the slopes are exactly the same, they have to be parallel, right? They weren't negative reciprocals, reciprocals of one another, they were uh, the same slope. So let's look at another one, right? And so here's two, two more lines, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b. And I didn't mention it, but I think you get that the b does not matter for determining if they're parallel or perpendicular. If the question is, are these parallel or perpendicular, you don't care at all what the y-intercept, what the b is, right? So again, if you have y equals mx plus b, this is definitely the key piece of information. You don't care about the b really at all when you're considering if they're parallel or perpendicular. So this one, let's look at these. Okay, it looks to me like his slope, his m, his slope is one third, and his slope is negative three. And remember, every slope in the entire world, right, actually is a fraction. So if this is a whole number, we can put it over one. Every slope has to be sort of considered a fraction. So if it's a whole number, let's put it over one. But now looking at it, okay, so we have one third, and then negative three over one. Did I not flip these? Aren't they flippical, reciprocals of one another? And also, if you look carefully, they're different signs. So actually, check. This is one where you have a negative reciprocal, right? Reciprocal. And so, yes, these are perpendicular lines. They are not parallel. These slopes are not the same. They're flips of each other and negative. So that's it. So this one is perpendicular. Okay, let's do maybe a couple that are a little less obvious. Okay, so here's two more lines, and these are deliberately designed to mess with you. I'm looking at my two slopes here, and it's the number in front of the x, right? Oops, actually, that's funny. This doesn't even have an x. So this is 5 fourths x um, minus 7, right? So the slope in this case would definitely be 4 fifths, and the slope in this case would be 5 fourths. And you're thinking, aha, they're totally reciprocals of one another. They're reciprocals of one another, but they're the same sign. So that's a problem because usually if you had perpendicular lines, they'd be flipped and the sign would change. Not true. They're also just not the same slope. They're definitely not, four fifths is definitely not five fourths. So this would actually be neither. Be careful. It doesn't have to be parallel or perpendicular. It could just simply be neither. They, they cross some point down the line. They're not parallel, but they're also not crossing at a 90. So yes, these are reciprocals of each other, but no, they are not negative reciprocals of one another. Okay, the only hard part is if they don't give you these in this format. So this is your y equals mx plus b format, which we all love, right? But that's the problem is what if they don't give us uh, two lines in that format? So I'll show you what to do in that case. 
right? Here's a, here's a classic example. They'll say, okay, so here's two equations of lines. Tell me, are these parallel or perpendicular? And glancing at them, I actually have no idea, right? These are not in my nice, clean, easy y equals mx plus b format. So my first step is that I actually just have to do that. So really all you do is you get y alone. So looking up this y, let's get it alone. Let's get this guy out of here first. Minus 2x, minus 2x. And because these are not like terms, all you can do is put them next to each other. You can't subtract them or add them or anything, right? The final step would be to divide by 3 to get y alone. Over 3, over 3, over 3. This is gone, so you have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 10 over 3. And who cares if this is a fraction, especially for this question, because all I really care about is the slope, right? And, and I already have. I can look. Hey, I already know my slope is negative 2 thirds. Okay, now let's solve this guy for y. Get this 4x out of here. Get this 4x out of here. I have 6y equals negative 4x plus 36. Remember, you cannot combine these because they're not like terms. Over 6, over 6, over 6. It's looking like, hey, these are not going to be parallel. So I said y equals negative 4 over 6x plus 36 divided over 6. Is, but be careful. Is this reducible? Can I reduce this fraction? And you can by 2. So this is negative 2 over 3, excuse me x plus 6. Oh, wait a minute, alarm bell is going off. What do you notice about these two slopes? These two slopes are exactly the same. Therefore, these two lines have to be what? Exactly, they have to be parallel. So if they don't give them to you in the y equals mx plus b format, don't panic. Just get y alone. Be careful. Take it slow. Get y alone. And once you get y alone, you'll be able to identify are these slopes the same in parallel? Are these slopes negative reciprocals of each other? and they will be perpendicular, or do the slopes have nothing in common at all, and then it's just going to be neither. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video.